Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're looking at the Mandalorian playing cards. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you like Star Wars because, well, that's all this channel is about. <laughs> uh, I'm 52 and so I was around in 1977. I've been following the franchise since the very beginning uh, the first time I ever watched Empire Strikes Back was on bootleg VHS. That's how old I am. That's how old I am. And I love Star Wars. I love everything about it. I will never hate on Star Wars. I will never hate on Disney. I'll never hate on any directors or actors or characters. Pretty much if you slap Star Wars across the front of it, I'm a fan and I want to talk to you about it and show it to you. So this channel is all about books, movies, props, toys, uh, going to the parks, everything everything star wars mandalorian playing cards the mandalorian big huge show on disney plus uh people loved it got nominated for a ton of awards uh this year and right now if you need a mandalorian fix there's nothing right there's nothing right now uh i suppose you could buy the the razor crest uh lego <laughs> there's a couple of other things out there uh i've even seen like a night light and i've i've seen bath soap uh but the playing cards from Theory 11 are a super hot item. I know I uh, did the review for the Star Wars cards that Theory 11 did, and you guys really ate that up. You guys like that a lot. And so I thought I would pick up Mandalorian playing cards and show you these as well. All right, the tuck case. I mean, come on, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous, as are all Theory 11 tuck cases. I mean, they really know how to make tucks. Uh, Beskar silver, space black, you got red foils, uh, all sculpted with this 3D embossing. It says Star Wars, the Mandalorian playing cards on the front there. And you just got so much uh, detail work and border. It says this is the way up at the top. Down here at the bottom, it says Theory 11. Uh, both sides say the Mandalorian. And you have some characters from the show. And we'll talk about those characters and give them all their credit when we look at the cards. Uh, it says Theory 11, Disney on the bottom there. And the top has an original tuck seal. You got some more border work there. Got the back design of the cards all done in the 3D emboss. Got the Mandalorian helmet right there. Uh, you got the symbol for the Mudhorn clan here. And then over on this side, uh, you have the Mythosaur skull, which you know everyone recognizes uh, as being one of Boba Fett's symbols. It says this is the way right in the center there. And uh, the two tiny tuck flaps also have the Mythosaur skull and the symbol for the Mudhorn clan. You also have this beautiful detail work that's on the inside of the tuck case. Uh, yeah, totally gorgeous. Let's take a look at the cards inside. Here you got a look at the back design. It's got a nice medium sized poker border. And again, same artwork that you saw on the back of the tuck case. This time the coloring is all done in like gray. It's really a steel, like a dark gray and then a very soft gray. And then you have that kind of burgundy red. You'll also notice there's a lot of other detail work, like uh, his spaceship is up there in the corner and uh, just beautifully, beautifully done. Also with this deck, you'll get two ad cards. One simply says, this is the way, and it has uh, Theory 11's logo down here at the bottom. And the other side has a little bit of ad copy about theory11.com. Also with this deck, you'll get two original jokers. One is a Jawa, which you see there on the left, and the other one is a Tusken Raider, or a Sand Person, there on the right. Going through the cards, your Ace of Spades is Baby Yoda. I'm still calling him Baby Yoda. I don't know why. Uh, yes, his real name is Grogu, and he's there in his little hover pod. And you have a beautiful, large Ace of Spades there in the background. And it does say the child over there on the left side. All your pips and indice cards are going to be completely redesigned. Reds are red, blacks are black. Everything should be recognizable. Uh, Layout-wise, everything's the same. However, you will have completely redesigned pips and fonts in the corner. Going through the court cards, uh, your spades, your jack of spades. This is a dark trooper. Uh, these are cool. Do you guys call them the dark troopers or do you guys call them the death troopers? My kids still call them the death troopers. So uh, yeah, we like them a lot in our family. And your queen of spades, it's got the classic stormtrooper helmet, but the red stripe there and the gun he's got indicate that he is the flame trooper or the incinerator stormtrooper. And your king of spades is the bad guy of the show. This is uh, Moff Gideon, played by Giancarlo Esposito. 
Moving on to the diamonds, uh, your ace of diamonds there with a silver foil in the center. This is the Mithral, the first bounty from episode one, played by Horatio Sands. Your jack of diamonds is everybody's favorite renegade. This is Mayfeld, played by Bill Burr. And then your queen of diamonds, this is everybody's favorite sharpshooter. She was the sniper in the show, one of the good guys. Uh, this is Fennec Shan, and she's played by Ming-Na Wen. And then your king of diamonds, I know everybody wanted this to be IG-88, but it's IG-11, and he was played by Rio Hackford. Your ace of clubs is a scout trooper, or a speeder bike trooper. Uh, we were introduced to them in Return of the Jedi, but now, later again, they've been on this show. Your jack of clubs is uh, Boba Fett, probably the most famous Mandalorian of all time. Down below in the comment section, tell me who your favorite actor was that played Boba Fett. And then your queen of clubs is the armorer. She was the one that made all of the Beskar armor for the Mandalorian, and she was played by Emily Swallow. And your king of clubs is Pre Vizsla. And then we have the hearts, the ace of hearts. This is our Ugnaught, Queel, played by Nick Nolte. And then we have the jack of hearts, also more good guys. This is Grief Karga, played by Carl Weathers. And the queen of hearts, probably one of my favorite characters on the show. This is Cara Dune, played by Gina Carano. And then the king of hearts, the Mandalorian himself, Din Djarin, played by Pedro Pascal. And these cards are beautifully printed for you from the United States Playing Card Company on FSC certified paper derived from a sustainable forest using vegetable-based inks and starched-based laminates. All right, that's everything I can say about the Mandalorian playing cards. You wanna head on down to Theory11.com. Theory11.com makes incredible cards. And while you're there, pick up the Star Wars cards as well, or look through their catalog and find some other decks of cards that you might like. Uh, they got James Bond and a bunch of other uh, franchises that you might be interested in. Definitely fill up your shopping cart, check them out. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.